Hey everybody, welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper, episode number five. Now, uh, last time we brought in the Paladin, he was level one. We fought three bandits and we did actually pretty well. If we jump into the quest here, you can see we do need to kill one more, so let's go ahead and do that. But this time, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and fight four of these guys. Again, we did three when the Paladin was level one and now he's level four, so let's go ahead and add one more and jump right into this. We're gonna try to get him leveled up. I definitely could use some loaded dice for this. Okay, so I'm gonna to get to go Cleric Rogue before, uh, boy, they then three of them go in a row. Interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead as the Cleric and start with the Smite on the first in order there, three. And the Rogue. I was going to go into Vanish, but I think what we're gonna do is do the Concussion Blow on number three, make him skip his turn so that we only have the two of them go before I go again. And Meteor, <laughs> because Meteor. <laughs> Alrighty, with the Paladin here, we're gonna go ahead and grab the Shield. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Back to the Cleric. So, some healing could be had here, um, but I think I'm going to wait. We're going to try and hold out. See how it goes. And let's see, should I go into Vanish now? I lose this turn next time around. Double Strike twice? Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so th those hits were pretty evenly spread out there. Let's go ahead and Meteor again. I think that's pretty much what we're going to be doing with him for a while. So let's see, I didn't catch who attacked the Cleric and Wizard, otherwise I would try and taunt them with a Leader Strike. But um, I think we'll use it anyway and we'll just go ahead and target number four. As I tend to run through the order there. Uh, let's back out here. Uh, heal? Hmm. Should I do that? The Circle of Healing? Yeah, let's, let's do Circle of Healing for now. Helps a little bit. And for the Rogue, she's coming out of Vanish here. Or at least for this round. She obviously has a one more round. Double Strike here. Not quite finish him off. Okay. Not too bad. Meteor again. Doesn't quite finish him. And... Can you finish him, please? Yes, very good. Very good. Now we're gonna do a direct heal right on the uh, Paladin. He's getting a bit low there. Continue down the order, number three. Okay, now, now he just got hit twice. Ugh, poor Paladin, he just joined the group. Okay, now he doesn't have his heal. I don't have that ability for him yet. Um, let's think about this a second. I wanna look at that shield. Oh, it does reduce the damage for two turns. What's interesting is, hasn't it already been two turns? Oh, it is gone. I thought it was still up. Let's go ahead and do that since he has taken hits. There we go, reduce the damage on that hit, excellent. Let's see here, but I think we're gonna have to heal him. We want him to stick around a bit. Even though I've got no magic points, he's gonna be basically doing his basic attack, but the cool thing is he draws attacks as well, so that's an added benefit. Very good, very good, okay. No Meteor, let's go ahead and Fireball. I'm not gonna use it on number three though. I think we're gonna take him out near future without it. Let's go here. And you're just gonna hit three. Okay, I could heal him. He does have a shield up for another turn or so, right? Another turn? Hmm. Let's go ahead and just try to get this fight over. There we go. Excellent. Very good. And we'll do Concussion Blow. I'm trying to, like, kill the number of attacks incoming since we're getting beat around a bit. Okay, and that was since his turn was next, that was great. He doesn't get to go, so we're back to mine. There we go, sweet. So that basically saved an attack. Um, 
I guess you could argue that had I just attacked him with a double attack, he would have died and not had his attack, but eh, it works out, right? Let's see, you've got nothing, so you just base attack. Smite here. We just about have this. I should have done the concussion blow with him, I think. Unless we finish this. Right on this turn? Oh, that would have been a good move then. Save the cleric from getting hit, but I guess it's not that big a deal. We're pretty much done. Alrighty, there we go. We're definitely going to have to rest. Let's see what we got for the paladin. We did get a potion, that's cool. Okay, everybody leveled it looks like, including the paladin. So we are going to have to pick some abilities. Now we do have the flash heal. I kind of like that. Healing yourself for 10 is kind of crazy. So it's a good emergency one. And what I'll do is probably focus on not using it if I don't have to. Just kind of hold it. Um, let's see, cleric. Circle of healing probably should be brought up. Um, I know a number of you said this is great for later in the game, though, so maybe we'll... Hold, let's let's see this. Four hit points. Raises four hit points. So, I'm sorry, does that mean he goes to eight? Because that's not bad. It's at four, and it says raises four hit points. That's good, eight hit points total. Alright, let's do it, let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, eight, excellent. Okay, we'll take that. Okay, now Meteor is good, I think. I think we're going to leave that at level 2, but maybe increase the Fireball. The Freeze I kind of like as well, though, because it does stun the target. 10 to 12. Fire does more damage, but this prevents an attack, which I really like. I tend to prefer to play defensively. Um, so I know Fireball. And you know, Fireball's 2. Let's see. Hmm. So good, though, right? So hard only costs one more. Alright, let's go ahead and level Fireball up again. Why not? I like the freeze, but yeah, what can you do? I guess I could take this and get some more MP. Hmm. What does it say? Raises 4 MP. Oh, out of 10. Four more. Interesting. Well, both of these cost more than four. Okay, I wish you could see the value here of your magic points. There's probably a way to see that, but um, I wish you'd, it would just display it here. We're going to go ahead and up the fireball. Let's just do the fireball. So, roguing. Roguing it. Let's see. What does this upgrade do? 5% more damage. Okay. But I think we may just go... Hmm. Well, that's a tough one. The double strike is okay. Hmm, does it do another turn? No, it just lowers the physical resistance. Alright, we're gonna go double strike. I'm just not too into the other ones just yet. Maybe later. Okay, that pretty much does it, right? We are all set. So let's figure out what we're gonna do next. Let's see what the quest is all about here. <laughs> gonna have to finish this out. Alrighty, it's a wagon left. Okay, there's a ship. I don't have any idea where they were going. He bets the crocs know, so we're gonna have to head that way for more info. <laughs> Next time, just ask instead of bashing us. Oh, I feel bad now. Okay, so we do have the uh, quest here travel to the Flying Dutchman. Hmm. Continue the quest. Let's go ahead and do that. So that's all the way out here. This is going to cost us 17. Oh man, level 17 though. I don't think we're quite ready for a level 17. Maybe if we fought one. So maybe what we'll do is we'll stick around and find something else to do. I don't know. We'll have to think about this in a minute. Okay, well, as you can see, we're on the deck of a ship. And as well, we now have five players. So I realized after that fight, uh, I thought, oh, you know what? I got the Holy Grail. I mean, that means I can have a fifth player at the table, too, not just have five players. So I jumped in there quickly out of the warrior. No big deal. We got the paladin level. The fight was not a problem with the four of us. So anyway, what I've decided to do is go ahead and jump out here. Now, if I go to the map, you can see I've actually come all the way over here. I thought, you know, if they're willing to give me the quest this early, it must be doable, even if it means I only fight, you know, one at a time and see how it goes. So I made the trip out here, it was uneventful, and uh, we are here now, so let's go ahead and give this a try with the five of us, and uh, see how it goes. Now we have to kill seven Shipmaster Crocs, 
in one or more battles. So we don't have to fight all of them at the same time. And um, that's going to be fortunate. You can see he's level 17. He looks pretty gnarly. Now if I add two of these here, I was looking at this a second ago. It does, as far as the sword coming over, it is on par with the four bandits before. But I really just don't like the idea of fighting two level 17s when I've got, you know, some lower level guys here. So what we're going to do is we're going to fight one at a time, or at least one initially, and see how that goes. So let's do that. So right off the bat, he gets initiative one and hits the uh, warrior for a good, sizable chunk of damage there. Let's go ahead and get this thing started with a smite. And probably a fireball here, yes. Ooh, that was a good damage, 22, nice. Okay, so what do we got here? We're gonna go strike, no need to cleave. And you, I'm gonna hope the rogue can stun with a concussion blow. Now, he is an elite, and in some games, uh, stunning, you know, elites is, you know, is not necessarily allowed, or they're highly resistant to it. You can imagine I could do concussion blow every time and just never let him attack. I mean, maybe they let us do that, but I definitely want to try and find out. Stun immune, so there you go. Sure enough, the elites are not, they just are not concerned about stuns. <laughs> Okay, noted. So let's go ahead and keep this going. We want to throw the Holy Shield up for the Paladin. Get him ready on the defense. So that was fortunate he got hit right there. He does have the added threat, of course, so he draws attention. Back to the Cleric. Now, we're assuming at this point that the Paladin is going to get the brunt of the attacks, hopefully. So I'm not going to worry about healing him just yet. And we'll go Fireball, of course. Um because that won't stun him anyway. 22, very nice. Warrior, do his strike, or her strike, the granny's strike. Let's see here. So we already know we can't do the stun, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into vanish and come out twice with double strike next time, the next two times. Indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and leader strike. Next time he may flash heal. Could be cool. You can see the cleric got attacked there. It's unfortunate. But that helps. Let's see. Another fireball. Another 22. Very cool. I think we are going to get this, but I, two of them would have been tough. So it is a little early, I suppose. We'll see, but... Um, Double strike. Okay. Now, let's see, do we need, I don't really need to flash heal. Let's go ahead and attack. He did get attention and wow, that was big attention. 21 damage, yikes. So we may flash heal with him next time. Um, and not do it with the cleric. Still have fireballs here. Very good. 23 that time around. Strike. And let's see, you're still in the vanish mode. Excellent. So, double strike. I think she'll be out of vanish mode on her next turn, though. Uh, let's see, we do need to flash heal here. Ooh, switched attacks over to the warrior. You're so unpredictable, Mr. Croc. Let's see. Uh, do we need to heal? Hmm. I mean, let's see, if he goes for the warrior, that's trouble. But he is just about toast. Now, he's initiative one, and we are two. That means I'm all my guys are going to get to go first. So let's throw everything we've got at him. I hope that's enough to do it. Just about there. Have to do a basic attack. There we go. Okay, we made it. Excellent. Didn't lose anybody. Victory. Look at all that XP. We got some more money. Nothing else? Nope, no other rewards? Alright. But we did level up the Paladin. Excellent. And let's see, I wanna, I'm wanna. i kinda curious about the shield, I really like it. And it's at 50% two turns. So it, it adds another turn to that, I really like that. Hmm. That 50% reduction is nice. And really his output on damage isn't all that amazing, so... I definitely, I definitely like that. Let's go ahead and do the shield again. I'm, I'm using that, certainly using that a lot. 
Okay, so we are leveled up. Now we did kill one. <laughs> we have six more to go. <laughs> so I could sit here and basically try those one at a time. Uh, it is possible that we could take out two, but it could be really gnarly. I'm not sure if I want to fight two at a time. I may have to think about that, but I, I'm certainly going to have to rest. So let's go ahead and start there. Okay, well we had a good night's sleep, or it was it was a long one, it might have been multiple nights. I do find it funny <laughs> to sleep on the boat, <laughs> the croc ship, they're all around you, and I don't know. Who knows, who knows, they're stepping over us while we sleep. So let's see, we're going to go ahead and I think what we're going to do is go ahead and fight two. We, got, we do have to kill six, so we have to get through these guys, so, oh boy, we're going to go ahead and try two this time, uh, and see how that goes. Yikes. <laughs> Fingers crossed, everybody. Okay, so right away one of them gets to be first in initiative again. It's unfortunate. The other guy is four, so kind of in the middle. Hmm, spread out. I don't like that as much. So let's see. We're going to get a couple turns in before he attacks again. Um, we're going to smite, and we are going to focus again on the first in initiative here. Let's see. Oh, one, two, three, right, okay. Now obviously, you know, it's funny, um, as I'm thinking about what to do here, you know, I mentioned attacking first initiative order, and once the initiative has gone through and the fight's going, it doesn't matter as much, right? The initiative order doesn't change, but that's just, I, I kind of look at things like that as far as, you know, who's going to get to go first. Sometimes, it, sometimes you have situations where, you know, uh, a number of your characters get to go, one of theirs gets to go, and you know maybe if maybe one or two more years and I like to kind of take the one in the middle out if I can set up situations where multiple uh, you know maybe even my whole party can get to attack uh, all in a row um, that's kind of ideal for me um, I'm not really a math whiz or anything there's 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 no crazy number crunching behind that or anything just in my experience in gaming in general I just kind of like to set that up when possible so anyway um, by I guess if you look at it, you know, in that way, it doesn't really matter which one I take out, right? I mean, if I take out one, all of, you know, you've only got one. So in, the, in this situation where you have two, it's really not that big of a deal. But again, I tend to start on the higher initiative just because, I don't know, it makes him a target. So, and he's already got damage taken. So that's where we're going to focus. That's my very long explanation of things, I suppose. <laughs> Your method may vary and definitely let me know if you've got a different method or if you just kind of randomly click around. I know some of the abilities, you know, have, you know, certain synergies as far as, you know, attacking, hitting multiple targets, if there's spacing between things like that. So there's other things to consider as well, but okay. So we do have two targets, but I kind of like the idea of focus firing here and trying to take out one. So that's what we're going to do here. That's what we will do. The warrior strike. So pretty much everybody's just going to keep hammering at this guy. And the cleric got hit. Hmm, very painful. But if we smite, that'll help. Bring that up a bit. Now she's in Vanish. We're coming out of that with a double strike. Very cool. Okay. Leader, we want to draw the attacks here. Fireball once again. Boy. This is tough. My Paladin is low. Does have the 50% damage reduction. Shield up. Sounds good. Okay. Attack the Rogue, which that's cool with me. <laughs> Please don't attack the Paladin. And I think, let's see, we could Flash Heal. I think that's what we'll do. His damage output is not all that great, so we're going to use the Smite here. Uh, although he won't get to go. Let's see. So this is one of those initiative things. The number four croc here is going to get to go before the paladin gets to use his flash heal. So I'm kind of thinking I need to use the cleric heal right here, just in case. If it, I mean, he might get dropped. It's possible. Though he does have the shield up, though. All right, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> place all bets on that shield. Really hope that shield does it for him. Let's see. So you're number three. So after this, we'll see what we'll see what number four Croc does. He did hit the Paladin, and the shield was effective. Um, I don't know if he would have dropped without the shield, but it would be very close if he didn't. So we get a flash shield here. 
fireball you. Let's see. We do have the shield up for one more round. Fortunately, we upgraded that. Um, so, yeah. Again, we're just focus firing on the first guy here. Trying to get him eliminated. Ooh. Now I definitely need to heal because... If number four hits him, hits my paladin before he gets to go, then he's probably toast. So I've got to use his opportunity to heal, unfortunately. Should keep him up if it comes down to it. Now I could vanish, but my MP is already a little bit below half, so I think we're just going to focus on doing the double strikes here. Oh, what a hit. 20, that was gnarly. Ouch. Okay, well... That was unfortunate. I didn't anticipate another attack coming around his way. I should have. I mean, he does draw threat, but he seemed to only be hitting, be getting hit, excuse me, once, so. Oh well, live and learn. We'll get him back up at the end. I don't think there's anything I can do about that now, right? Click on him. Can't resurrect him right now or anything. It's unfortunate. Okay. I guess things would be quite easy if you could do that. I know it costs money, but when you have a good amount of money, you would never lose anybody, I guess. Okay, so the rogue is low and has been putting out some good damage, and so the rogue may become the focus of attention of attacks now with the paladin gone, so we're gonna actually go ahead and restore life on paladin. I mean, on the rogue. I didn't finish him out. Cleric is hit. Alright, let's let's drop Meteor um, and hope that... Eh, it's not going to finish him, I don't think, but at least we'll carry some damage over. Got to start working on the other guy here pretty soon. Let's see. Boy, we really need to drop him. Yeah, this is not going well at all. Okay, do I heal the Cleric? Yes, but I think I do it via Smite, right? Didn't finish him. Rogue can't do any more special abilities. So there we go. We are down one against three. MP is low, though. This is probably not going to go well. That took a while just to take the one out with five players. And now we're down to three with low MP. Yeah, not a good situation. Now, before I use Smite... Hmm... I could do my group heal, right? I did upgrade it. Let's go ahead and do that circle of healing. Get everybody eight hit points. Oof. So gnarly. This is just going poorly. Now, it was the cleric that got hit, so we'll go ahead and use smite here. And, uh, oh boy. Oh, wow. That was gnarly. Well, I think that pretty much does it. I have no heals and no MP. It's pretty much basic attacks from this point out, so I think we're I think we're toast. <laughs> yeah. Go mage, beat him with your staff. <laughs> Five hit points. Yeah, it's over. Okay, now I obviously could have used a heal potion and uh, <laughs> fought one more round or so with him, but that obviously was going nowhere. Well, that's unfortunate. That's the first full-on defeat. There it is. Oh, we'll just soak that in and move on.